Superheroes are everywhere, and we mean everywhere. Bionic Buddy! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superheroes on non-superhero TV series. <laughs> this is just amazing! For this list, we'll be looking at all those super characters who saved the day with style, flair, and probably while wearing a cape. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for you to unlock the door! I forgot my key. We've decided to include characters both real and fictional, at least within the continuities of the shows in question. In either case, these heroes cannot be the focus of the series. Save me some hot water! Hot signal! Come, young ward! Number 10, Bionic Bunny, Arthur. Now we'll never get the medicine there in time! Yes, we will! Everyone in the plane! A fictional character within the world of Arthur. I'm Wilbur Rabbit, and this is the story of how we make the Bionic Bunny Show! Bionic Bunny is the idol of the titular aardvark and his friends, particularly fellow bunny Buster Baxter. As his name implies, this heroic rabbit is a cyborg with super strength, though he can also fly. Bionic Bunny's true identity is something of a mystery, but all we really need to know is that he's a citizen just trying to do his duty. Stay tuned for another exciting episode of The Bionic Bunny Show! The character that plays Bionic Bunny on the show within the show is actor Wilbur Rabbit who coincidentally has glasses that look just like Arthur's. Wilbur Rabbit wears glasses just like mine? All right! This teaches Arthur that there's no shame in wearing spectacles, as some of our greatest heroes were likely called four eyes at some point. Pinky, did you know Wilbur Rabbit wears glasses? Yeah, I saw that on TV last night. Number nine, Ultra Lord. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. Greetings, Life Form. I'm about to engage Robo Fiend in pitched combat. Even though Jimmy and his friends become superheroes in their own right, going by the team name The End Men. I'm your worst nightmare. End Men, assemble! The true superhero star of this show will always be Ultra Lord. Only my oldest and most prized Ultra Lord? He was like the plastic atomic breath blasting brother I never had! A fictional superhero with everything from a line of action figures to his own brand of marshmallows. Yeah! I bake galactic marshmallow balls from the Ultra Lord recipe book. Ultra Lord is a space themed character whose stylish suit resembles the futuristic lines of a classic 50s car, and is an object of obsession for Jimmy's friend Sheen. Greetings, one called Sheen! Even though Ultra Lord isn't really real, he'll always be a true hero in Sheen's mind. Ultra Lord's log trapped on the planet of incredible hotness. Number eight, really, really big man, Rocco's modern life. It's the super duper adventures of... <laughs> A cross-dressing office worker named Lois Lame by day. To cover his expenses as a superhero, Really Really Big Man disguises himself as a daily orbit receptionist, Lois Lame. Really Really Big Man, who actually stands at about six and a half feet tall, is one of the more eccentric heroes on our list. The character is clearly a parody of Superman, as RBBM shares a number of his super abilities with the Man of Steel, like great strength and the ability to fly. Can you save Megapolis from total destruction? Sure, it's easy for really, really big man. He also possesses some truly strange powers too, like he can allow others to see the past or the future, depending on whether he uses his chest hairs or his nipples. Look still deeper into my muscular bosom. Of course, that kind of weirdness is just par for the course on Rocco's modern life. You shouldn't be eating pork. It's bad for you. Here, I'll show you. Hey! Hey! They're clogging up my arteries! Number seven, The Justice Friends, Dexter's Laboratory. Three of Earth's mightiest heroes, joining forces under one roof to face the challenge of everyday life. Although Dexter's Lab had another superhero side story in the form of Dial M for Monkey, our pick has to go to the sitcom-inspired misadventures of the Justice Friends. It looks like disgruntled postman will need to fill out a change of address form made out to the city jail! <laughs> Essentially a hilarious look at what would happen if the Avengers lived under one roof. The Justice Friends are primarily composed of Major Glory, Valhallen, and the infragable crunk. 
The infragable crunk! Parodies of Captain America. Thor and The Incredible Hulk, respectively. A lot of comedy comes from the trio's attempts to solve mundane problems with super-powered solutions. You're blocking the TV! I want to watch the monster truck pull! Oh, yeah? Well, here's your monster truck pull! <laughs> My gun and dresses! Well, that and Krunk's love of the Punch and Judy-inspired puppet pals. Krunk one puppet pals! A show within a show within a show. So meta. Thanks, Major Glory! Don't thank me! Thanks for the surprise! What? I said, don't thank me! Number six, The Great Saiyaman, Dragon Ball Z. I am the one and only Great Saiyaman! Gosh, that sounds cool. For Gohan, who can fly, shoot beams from his hands, and has defeated villains of immense and devastating power. It's nearly impossible to go back to a normal life and just stand by when you see people in danger. I'm just scared my new friends will think I'm a little weird if they see me fighting criminals. Enter the Great Saiyaman, with an outfit that he can change into at the press of a button, and some ridiculous poses he probably picked up from the Ginyu Force. Gohan helps those in need using his Saiyan abilities. But like any superpowered teenager balancing crime fighting with high school, Gohan needs to keep his secret identity a secret. I think it could still use a little work, but not tonight. You've got to get up bright and early tomorrow, great Saiyaman. No problem, Mom. I'm fine. Gohan fights crime while trying to keep his classmates safe and in the dark. Of course, they do figure it out eventually. Yeah! You can do it, Gohan! <laughs> it is yeah. strong! <sighs> Number 5. Powdered Toast Man. The Ren and Stimpy Show. Who is this man of toast? And what does he want from us? Nickelodeon cartoons from the 90s sure had a penchant for bizarre superheroes, didn't they? And it doesn't get much more bizarre than Powdered Toast Man, who appeared on the weirdest Nickelodeon series of them all. And so, Powdered Toast Man is off on another day of heroic adventure! A man with two pieces of, what else, powdered toast for a head. He's able to produce various foodstuffs from his mouth, armpits, and navel. This calls for my projectile raisin breath. PT Man flies into action, backwards, calling his own name loudly and proudly. tradition of Space Ghost, who was also voiced by Gary Owens. Hello, I am Space Ghost. Welcome to my show. Who says you can't serve justice and breakfast at the same time? <laughs> Number four, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, SpongeBob SquarePants. Mermaid Man, fleet and forceful. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention the heroes of Bikini Bottom. Mermaid Man, with his young associate Barnacle Boy, fights for all creatures that live in the sea. Even if they are a bit past their prime. Hey, who are those guys? Uh, are they here to fix the TV? This not-so-dynamic duo has entertained and defended the undersea town for decades, with SpongeBob and Patrick even managing to pull them out of retirement to fight aquatic crime once again. Time to come out of retirement! There's evil afoot! Evil! Where is it? A parody of Aquaman and Batman. As well as their respective sidekicks, the pair may be senior citizens, but they still manage to perform brave deeds in their own cantankerous way. When evil threatens the bottom of the sea, you can always count on them to rise to the occasion. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, you name! Number three, Mysterion, South Park. I do have a power, a power they will now begin to understand, and all will know who and what I truly am. Who is Mysterion? Trey Parker and Matt Stone had their characters and audience alike trying to deduce the identity of this question mark themed crime fighter. If you don't believe us, then you don't have a choice. Pull the trigger, you pussy! Dude, Kenny, chill out. Until he was revealed to be Kenny in the multi-episode Coon and Friends arc. Why do we have to be called Coon and Friends? What? We all fight crime together, how come we're just your friends? Initially taking up the mantle to one-up Cartman's racial slur-evoking attempt at creating a superhero. To clean the trash can of society, I've chosen to become more than a man. I am the hero this town needs. 
I am. The king. Mysterion proves far more popular and, as it's eventually explained, much more deserving of the super affectation. What is your power? I can't die. Since Kenny's inability to permanently die is an actual superpower, albeit one he considers a curse. I think it'd be pretty cool not to be able to die. Pretty cool? Do you know what it feels like to be stabbed? To be shot? Decapitated? Torn apart? Burned? Run over? Kenny, Kenny, calm down. Although, even he's not immune to being upstaged. Who doesn't love Mint Berry Crunch? No more running away for Mint Berry Crunch! Number two, the Crimson Chin, the Fairly Odd Parents. I am a Crimson Chin! Here comes the Crimson Chin! In a show with two wish-granting fairy godparents, anything is possible, especially superheroes. I wish the real Crimson Chin were here. Hey, we can do that. One hero with everything on it! Despite turning Timmy's parents, and even the entire town into superheroes at one point, the most memorable superhero brought to life via magic is the Crimson Chin, naturally voiced by the amply chinned Jay Leno. Clearly have stumbled into some sort of massive supervillain. Hoo-ha! The fictional comic book character even takes inspiration from Leno's real life, having once been a late night talk show host, until he was bitten on the chin by a radioactive celebrity, granting him his chin themed super abilities. Well, has the radioactivity affected your love life? <laughs> ah, oh, my chin! Whenever he shows up, you can expect the results to be both action packed and hilariously jaw dropping. By my mother's mandible, I say nay! It's the Crimson Chin! Justice, thy name is Chin. Every chin needs a cleft. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. My weapons are at your disposal. <laughs> My name is... Sniper King! Huh? Quail Man, whose quail-like powers give him the ability to bomb dart, and stupefy all enemies with his ever-powerful quail eye. Oh yeah! Ah, super <laughs> Number one, Radioactive Man, The Simpsons. This looks like a job for at Radioactive Man underscore O1. Though we have to give props to comic book guy's creation, Everyman. Everyman? He's not a hero from Marvel, DC, Image, or Wildstorm. A hero who gains the powers of heroes whose comic books he touches, our pick could only go to the irradiated Radioactive Man. <sighs> Becoming radioactive. This nuclear-powered superhero is a favorite of young Springfield boys, particularly since an ultimately failed attempt at a Radioactive Man movie was filmed in the town. He's never too far away from his Robin-esque sidekick, Fallout Boy. Jiminy Jellickers! Doctor, now there's no need for profanity for that boy. Who would interestingly inspire the name of a certain rock band. Despite his memorability and popularity, however, very little is revealed about Radioactive Man's powers, save his super strength and flight, which is fitting given his catchphrase. Up and at them. 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 Do you agree with our list? Shut up! If you ask me one more stupid question, I'll tear your skin off. Which superhero from a non-superhero show is your favorite? I'm tired, guys. Think I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! For more superheroic top tens published every day. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So remember, kids. Don't do bad things, and maybe bad things won't do unto you or something. Away!